Hey everyone, DB here from Eat Sleep Cruise, where we help you plan the ultimate vacation with in-depth cruise reviews and ship tours, tips, and the latest cruise updates. While it's now official, cruising in North America will return in June, as several major cruise lines have announced sailings in the Bahamas, Caribbean, and Bermuda. So even though this is exciting news, now what? The last couple days, we've been bombarded with questions on the blog and social media about what to expect on these initial cruises. So we decided to put together this video to answer the most pressing questions about what the return to cruising will look like this summer. Now, total disclosure, we're currently booked on three of the ships sailing the Caribbean this year. So we can speak from our firsthand experiences this past week as we were booking the cruises and learning more about what they entail from the cruise lines. If you're booked on one of these cruises, let us know in the comment section below. Plus, if you have any questions about the return to cruising, you can leave them in the comment section and we'll be sure to answer them. So just to recap, in case you didn't know, currently there are four ships from the major cruise lines that will be offering sailings in North America. Crystal Cruises was the first to announce Bahama Cruises from Nassau and Bimini that will begin in July. Then we found out a little over a week ago that Royal Caribbean's Adventure of the Seas will be offering round trip Bahama Cruises from Nassau that include stops at its private island, Perfect Day, Coco Cay, Grand Bahamas, and Cozumel. Its sister brand Celebrity Cruises will be sailing from St. Martin, now that ship is offering two Southern Caribbean cruises with one itinerary visiting Aruba, Barbados, and Curacao, and another itinerary that is visiting Tortola, St. Lucia, and Barbados. Now this week, round trip Bermuda cruises on Royal Caribbean's Vision of the Seas go on sale. Those sailings will begin in June. And we suspect other major cruise lines will be announcing a restart outside of the US sailing in the Caribbean. And it's official, you can book most of these cruises right now. You can book these cruises directly with the cruise lines or with your travel agent. Most of the ships are offering cruises through the end of the summer and pricing seems to vary each day. Some of the initial sailings are pretty close to sold out or have limited cabinet availability. But if you definitely want to cruise this summer in the Bahamas or the Caribbean, you should be able to find something on one of the ships. Now the description didn't give it away. You do need to know that these sailings are actually departing from outside the US. So if you're used to sailing to the Bahamas and the Caribbean from places like Miami, Port Canaveral, or Galveston, right now, you're currently out of luck. While these cruises are open to US cruisers, they're actually open to all nationalities, provided they're allowed to travel based on their own national laws and regulations. While it's been hotly debated, these cruises do have a vaccine requirement. They will be sailing with fully vaccinated crew and passengers. So they're only open to adult guests who have been vaccinated. Now, Celebrity and Royal Caribbean are allowing guests who are under 18 to sail on the vessels with a negative COVID-19 test taken within 72 hours of embarkation. Now, you do need to know that you don't actually need to be vaccinated to book the cruises. When booking our trips, we were not required to show proof of vaccination yet. Of course, we suspect before the sailing, when completing our online check-in, the cruise lines will need us to upload our proof with our vaccination card. But for now, if you're not vaccinated, you can still book the trips, but just know you will not be allowed on board if you do not meet the vaccine requirements on embarkation day. Now, U.S. citizens can typically cruise to destinations like Bahamas, Bermuda, and the Caribbean without a passport, provided it's a closed loop trip, a cruise that begins and ends in the same U.S. port. However, given that these summer 2021 cruises are embarking outside the United States, you actually will need a passport to take one of these cruises. You'll need to present a passport to enter the destinations like the Bahamas or St. Martin, as well as to return home to the United States. Most of the destinations are currently requiring pre-travel negative tests to actually enter the countries. The United States currently also requires a test to re-enter the country from an international flight. Of course, these requirements could change for vaccinated individuals in the coming months. So if you're planning one of these summer 2021 cruises, you'll need to stay up to date on the latest travel requirements when it comes to COVID-19 testing. Now it is possible that the cruise lines will complete COVID-19 testing at embarkation. Further, Royal Caribbean has indicated that it will offer free COVID-19 testing for Americans to fly home prior to disembarkation, if it's still required by the US government. There's also gonna be some additional paperwork you need to complete. Along with a COVID-19 test and your passport, there'll be additional forms that are required for entry to each country. Currently, the Bahamas requires individuals to complete a travel health visa. As part of your visa, you do need to provide proof of a negative PCR COVID test taken within five days of arrival. St. Martin has established a mandatory health authorization application 
and this must be completed at least 12 hours prior to arriving at the island. To qualify for this forum, you do need to provide proof of that COVID-19 test taken within five days of arriving in the country. In addition, the government of St. Mon has implemented a mandatory COVID-19 insurance. So you must purchase this insurance as part of the health authorization application. And this insurance covers you in case you do catch COVID-19 during your time in St. Martin and need to remain there and be quarantined. Likewise, Bermuda has a travel authorization form that it must be completed between 24 to 72 hours before arriving on the island. As part of this process, you do need the proof of a negative COVID-19 test taken within five days of arriving to Bermuda. Now, as part of the protocols, the cruise lines will require individuals to check in online prior to the cruise, like in normal times. Further, cruisers will be assigned a boarding time to facilitate a staggered embarkation in order to reduce crowds at the terminals. Now, don't plan on getting to the cruise ports any earlier because the cruise lines will be sticking closely to those pre-assigned embarkation times. Don't worry if you get assigned a later boarding time as the ships do not depart until later in the evening. Now, once on board, the reality is that face coverings will be required at most times while on the cruise. The exceptions will be when seated at socially distant venues and actively eating or drinking. Further, masks will not be required in situations where they could get wet, like swimming pools and water slides. Of course, you don't have to wear a mask in your stateroom either. Now, another limitation of these cruises is the ability to explore ports of call. Unfortunately, cruisers will only be allowed off the ship at ports of call on approved shore excursions. These cruise line sponsored excursions will ensure guests are protected when going ashore. The cruise lines will ensure that the proper health and safety protocols are being implemented by these tour providers. Tour guides and drivers will also undergo health screenings and wear appropriate PPE. And the cruise line is ensuring that the transfers are properly sanitized and that there is adequate social distancing. When reviewing our cruise planner, there are certainly a limited number of shore excursions. In popular ports like Cozumel, you'll often find something like around 40 or more shore excursion options. However, on our sailing, that port only has 11 different tours. For the cruise line's private island, most of the popular tours and experience appear to be there, including the water park, kayak tours, snorkeling, and the ability to rent cabanas. With cruise lines establishing social distancing guidelines, there will certainly be changes to the onboard activities, events, and entertainment. Guest capacity and venues will be reduced, and activities will be modified for smaller groups. Some cruise lines have indicated there will be a reservation system, while others will use virtual queues to disperse crowds. Though, the cruise lines have stated that most onboard experiences will be available. There will be signage at venues informing guests of health and safety protocols, which they need to adhere to for each activity and event. While we're sure there'll be some differences, it doesn't appear that the cruise experience will be drastically changed. Of course, we'll be reporting back after these cruises to let you know about our experiences. So even though there will be some changes, we expect to be able to enjoy all the things we love about cruising. The food, the entertainment, the activities, the destination, and of course, just being out to sea, even if they are modified or slightly altered. And there is everything you need to know about taking a summer cruise in 2021. Let us know in the comments if you found this video helpful. And if you're looking to plan your next cruise, check out our video review of the top 10 best new cruise ships for 2021. We also have the latest cruise news and updates from all the major cruise lines and our cruise updates and reviews. Also, if you love cruise ship tours, you can check out our amplified Freedom of the Sea ship tour, which we completed right before the cruise suspension in 2020. Feel free to say hi to us all over social media at Eat Sleep Cruise. And if you haven't already done so, what are you waiting for? Make sure to subscribe down below.